Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Friday. Let's get it. So today, I wanted to share with you the end end of the work week uh, summary and reflection practice. I wanted to share this with you because I think it's it served me really well in being able to um, just complete the week so that you can move on to the weekend fresh and ready to just have fun, relax, whatever that you typically do on the weekends. So I wanted to share with you my practice. So Tim Ferriss, who's a famous self-help uh, guru, really interesting dude. If you ha- haven't heard of him, check him out, the Tim Ferriss podcast. But he does this exercise at the end of every month and, and every quarter, every week, where you take a look at your calendar and you looked at the activities that has given you the most fulfillment, the most joy. Uh, the Pareto law where 20% of your activities has given you 80% of your results is, is important. So I would look at my week and see what yield, yielded the best um, results for me. So I could take a look on Monday on the 1st. Uh, I had a, a client meeting at 2 o'clock that was really productive. It, it was meeting with many, many members of the team. So for that day, that was the most productive And uh, number two, so on Tuesday, um, so you, what you do is you scan your week, right? Um, So I was able to build relationships with one of the managers, the the mid-market managers at LinkedIn. So that was really productive just to kind of rest and then start to build that relationship to be intentional about my promotions. Um, Also had a really good candid conversation with my manager. So felt like I made progress there. So that's really good to to see uh, and reflect that I'm doing well and I'm uh, progressing forward. So that was also very productive. Um, On Wednesday, we had, um, I I connected with one of my, um, someone who, um, I'm scheduling a podcast episode with, so it taught me the value of planning and strategy and how to be intentional about my conversations and thoughtful in my words. And yeah, overall, I thought it was a really good conversation with someone who I really respect. So um, you start to look at the common trends. So you see, oh, okay, so it looks like relationships is the key. That's something to notice and kind of reflect on the week. Um, and then the, uh, on Thursday, um, I had s- some client conversations and um, a coaching call, a lot of coaching, like w- a call with my executive coach. So it was cool just to kind of acknowledge myself. And the takeaway from that was to uh, cut myself some slack. You know, I, I told myself that I didn't really have a good last 35 days. But for after that conversation, I noticed that that wasn't true. I was just being a bit hard on myself. So, and then uh, today on Friday, um, I had um, a really good client call that I think will yield. So yeah, so the, 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 co- the takeaways is partnerships and relationships from the week. So knowing that um, I'm able to complete my week and be able to move on and uh, have an amazing week. Hope you enjoyed this little tidbit and cheers, everyone. Have a great week. Weekend.